Good morning and welcome to my first ever vlogish type of video on this channel. This is a new format for me. I usually only do TikToks, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts as well. But today I decided that it's time for me to start my YouTube channel and show you more what I do in a day of life. So yeah, welcome. Let's get this video started. So I just had breakfast. I think you see it here on the screen. It was quark blended with some light yogurt and oats. I had my morning supplements. You see them here on the screen. And I thought of doing a small walkthrough of the supplements I take in the morning. So let's go. Starting off with Revolskine. It's an appetite suppressor. Since I usually have a problem to eat too much food, it's good for me to get my appetite in check. That's a good way for me to start the morning. And this one is also a stimulant. Similar to caffeine, it gives you a small energy boost. And I combine the Rewall Skin with the Camp PM. It's a stimulant-free fat loss formula. And when it's called a fat loss formula, it's not like you lose fat directly from taking it, but it contains stuff like green tea extract and uh, other substances to get your body going. So nothing magical, but it helps. The third supplement I take is the Sigma Testosterone Booster. It contains magnesium, zinc, vitamin D3, ashwagandha, just the basics to get you in a state to produce more testosterone. Usually people nowadays are far too stressed and not in an optimal state to have optimal testosterone levels. So this just helps for that. It's not something magical, but for me it helps a lot. Moving on to number four and the last one, the Gorilla Mind Smooth, cognitive health support. It's almost like a pre-workout without the caffeine and the pump formulas. It's just for mental focus and cognitive health. So that's what I take in the morning. If you want to check these supplements out, go to GorillaMind.com. More plates, more dates. Go through all of these supplements at his YouTube channel. So if you want a full review and a full walkthrough of these supplements, go check them out. Also, if you want to try them, use code DENVER at checkout for 10% off. It supports me a lot. So that's all for my supplements in the morning. I'll go through what I take before my workout and after my workout as well. Let's continue with the day. I'll do some work now and get back to you later. Okay, it's time for meal number two. It's my pre-workout meal. I usually eat this right before my workout or maybe an hour before. It depends on if I have a lot of time or if I'm in a hurry. Today I'm eating this yogurt again, Yogi Mini, like 0% fat. It's just pure carbs and protein. And also these rice puffs. These are just pure carbs. It's the key to get these vascular arms when you work out. So I'll just make this meal and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is what I have to work with. I'm going to eat this and then go to the gym in 30 minutes. And right before the gym, I'll have my pre-workout, so I'll show you how I do that too. I'll see you right before the workout. Okay, so it's time for my pre-workout now. I have a cameraman as well. He's my cousin, Lude. We used to do Minecraft videos together, but now we're gym bros. We left the gaming and now we're aiming for the gains. But I'm going to show you what I drink for my pre-workout. I have, I think it's eight deciliters of water, and then I have one scoop of the Gorilla Mode. This is the cherry blackout flavor. I love cherry. So we take a big scoop, a little more than one scoop. And I also mix it with the Gorilla Mode Nitric, which is a pump formula. It's stim free, so you can take it in the evening and still get a nice pump without the caffeine. So I take one scoop of that too. And then I just shake it. I also take the Sigma four times throughout the day. One for breakfast, one right before my workout one after my workout and one in the evening. Let's go to the gym. It's chest day today, so let's get it.
Okay, we're back from the gym. Now it's time to cook some lunch. And today I'm having just plain rice and meat. I'm too lazy to cook food, so I always prepare my food beforehand. So now after the gym, when I'm tired, I can enjoy a meal quickly. Okay, so this is going to be my post-workout meal. It's just plain meat and uh, white rice with ketchup because ketchup is the best sauce there is. I'm very hungry, I'm tired, so let's get this down. Mm. I also want to add that I usually try to eat more fat after my workout because I feel like if I eat too much fat before my workout then I usually feel a lot more bloated during my workout and I get less energy so before my workout I focus more on protein and carbs and then after my workout carbs protein and fats that's what works for me try it out if you want to I'm not a dietitian it's just what works for me Mm. All right, I just finished lunch, but I'm still not satisfied. I'm hungry. It wasn't that much food So for dessert, I'm going to have a protein bar and I'm going to microwave it for around 20 seconds and then it's going to be There you go Mmm, it's like chocolate cake 20 grams of protein delicious Okay, welcome back. It's now the day after I filmed this full day of eating video. I felt pretty sick yesterday in the afternoon and I woke up with a cold today, so I wasn't in the mood to film that much yesterday evening. So I thought I would just film everything I ate and then do a voiceover tomorrow, which I'm doing right now. So after my protein bar, I think I had one or two more protein bars. And then for dinner, me and my wife, Elisa, we ate some ham with mashed potatoes. And then for dessert, I made some quark and some muesli. So that's pretty much everything I ate yesterday. I guess you could say I'm on a maintenance right now, so I'm neither bulking or cutting. I'm just trying to main gain and build some muscle while not putting on too much fat. So that's pretty much what I eat in a day. Uh, some other details, I try to avoid gluten. Even though I'm not allergic to gluten, I just feel a lot more energized if I don't eat it. My digestion is better without it. So I try to eat foods that I digest easily and I think you should do too. It's what uh, makes you perform the best at the gym. It will also make your diet more sustainable and that's the most important part in the end. I think that's a wrap for this video. If you want to see more of these videos, drop a sub and also like this video it means a ton i really appreciate your support also suggest what i should film more if you want more workout vlogs or more full days of eating just anything so drop a comment below subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video bye